In a land where gods and kings walk side by side, a new pharaoh ascends the throne. His name is Akhenaten. Picture a young prince born as Amenhotep IV, tutored under the watchful eyes of seasoned scholars destined to wear the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. He was no different from his forebears, adhering to the intricate tapestry of traditions and rituals that had held the Nile Valley in its grasp for millennia. Yet beneath the surface, a revolutionary spark was kindling. As his father, Pharaoh Amenhotep III, journeyed to the afterlife, young Amenhotep took his place on the Horus throne. The scepter passed. The young pharaoh seemed to follow the footsteps of his ancestors, worshipping the traditional pantheon of deities from Amun-Ra to Osiris. But the tranquility was not to last. A subtle shift began to permeate through the royal court. The pharaoh, now adopting the name Akhenaten, meaning effective for Aten, started to show a peculiar fondness for the sun disk deity Aten, a relatively minor god in the crowded Egyptian pantheon. This was no mere favoritism. Akhenaten declared Aten as the supreme deity, sidelining the age-old gods and goddesses of Egypt. This was an affront to the very fabric of Egyptian religious and social life. From the shadows of the pyramids to the fertile banks of the Nile, whispers began to rise, hinting at the birth of a heretic. The pharaoh, the living god, was challenging the very gods who had bestowed him his divine right to rule. As the sun set on the Nile, casting long shadows over the land of Kemet, the stage was set for an unprecedented upheaval. The pharaoh, the high priest, the nobility and the common folk all were at the precipice of a revolution that would echo through the corridors of time. Little did the people of Egypt know their new pharaoh was about to challenge the very gods they worshipped. Akhenaten was not a traditionalist. He had a vision, a divine revelation that would change everything. Imagine for a moment being in the shoes of this pharaoh. You're at the helm of an ancient civilization, revered as a god king, yet you dare to defy the pantheon that has been worshipped for centuries. This was Akhenaten, a man who dared to dream, dared to challenge the norm. He heard a different call, a voice that beckoned him towards monotheism, a concept alien to his people. The voice was of Aten, the sun disk. A minor deity elevated to supreme status by our heretic pharaoh, Akhenaten did not simply change the focus of worship from many gods to one, he uprooted centuries-old traditions, shattering the religious fabric of his kingdom. Temples of Amun were closed, priests were dismissed, and in their place he built open-air temples to Aten, where the sun's rays themselves were revered. But his revolution was not confined to the religious sphere, it bled into the arts, into the very way life was depicted. Gone were the rigid, formalistic styles of the past, replaced with a more naturalistic approach. The royal family was shown in intimate, everyday scenes, a stark contrast to the impersonal, godlike depictions of Pharaoh's past. Akhenaten's art was revolutionary, it was radical, it was real. It showed his family with elongated skulls, thick lips and heavy hips. A striking departure from the idealized images of past rulers. Some say this was a stylistic choice. Others argue it was a true reflection of their physical appearance, perhaps due to a genetic condition. In the heart of Egypt, a pharaoh dared to rewrite the rules, dared to envision a world that was drastically different from the one he inherited. He dared to question, to challenge, and in doing so, he left an indelible mark on the sands of time. This was no ordinary pharaoh, this was a heretic, a revolutionary, a man who dared to rewrite the rules. With a new god and a new vision, Akhenaten needed a new capital. Welcome to Amarna! As the sun god Aten rose, an audacious plan took shape in the mind of Akhenaten. He envisioned a city that would embody his new faith, a city that would stand as a beacon of his revolutionary ideas. Amarna was not just another city in the annals of ancient Egypt. It was the grand stage for Akhenaten's audacious experiment. Nestled on the east bank of the Nile, it was a city born of a dream, a dream that dared to challenge centuries of tradition and the very gods themselves. As you wander through its virtual streets, you're not just walking through a city, but through a vision. The architecture of Amarna was revolutionary. It wasn't just the buildings that were different, but the very layout of the city. It was designed to mirror the divine order of the universe as seen through the eyes of Akhenaten.
The city's design was an embodiment of the pharaoh's religious ideology. It was a city bathed in sunlight, a city dedicated to the worship of art and the sun disk. The open courtyards, the sunken relief art, the absence of traditional temples, all were a testament to this new faith. Amarna was a city like no other. It was the physical manifestation of Akhenaten's theological revolution. The city was the canvas and Akhenaten was the artist, painting with the brush of the divine. But as with all things that defy tradition, Amarna was not without its detractors. There were those who whispered in the shadows, those who clung to the old gods, those who waited for the sun to set on Akhenaten's dream. Yet even as the whispers grew louder, the city stood tall, a testament to a pharaoh's audacity, a symbol of a revolution that dared to challenge the gods. Even today, the ruins of Amarna whisper of a time when a pharaoh dared to dream a new dream. A dream that shook the very foundations of ancient Egypt. Amarna stood as a testament to Akhenaten's audacity, a city that defied tradition and the gods. But not all were pleased with Akhenaten's revolution. The winds of rebellion were stirring. As the sun rose over Amarna, the city of the sun god Aten, whispers of discontent echoed through the streets. Akhenaten's audacious vision, a new religion centered around the worship of a single deity, was met with resistance. The traditional pantheon of gods once revered by all had been cast aside. The priests stripped of their power and influence were the first to oppose the heretic pharaoh. Their voices were joined by the nobles who saw their wealth and prestige dwindle under Akhenaten's reign. They missed the grandeur of Thebes, the city they once called home. The new capital, Amarna, was a symbol of the pharaoh's break from tradition, and they yearned for the familiar. Even the common people, who at first had embraced Akhenaten's vision of a unified Egypt under a single god, began to feel the strain. The harsh realities of life in Amarna, coupled with the absence of their familiar gods, stirred unrest among them. The winds of rebellion grew stronger, fueled by the whispers of the discontented. And then, the unthinkable happened. The people, once loyal subjects, rose against their pharaoh. Their rebellion was not marked by battles and bloodshed, but by a silent resistance. They began to disassemble Akhenaten's monuments, erasing his vision from the sands of Egypt. But the pharaoh was undeterred. He held firm to his belief in the sun god Aten, even as his world fell apart around him. He continued to rule from his forbidden city, seemingly oblivious to the rebellion brewing beneath the surface. In the end, it was Akhenaten's own son, Tutankhamun, who would restore the old gods and order. He returned Egypt to its traditional roots, moving the capital back to Thebes and reinstating the worship of the old gods. Akhenaten's monuments were dismantled, his city abandoned and his name all but erased from history. Akhenaten's vision was crumbling, but his legacy was far from forgotten. Even in rebellion, the echoes of his radical reign reverberated through the annals of time, forever marking the era of Akhenaten, the heretic pharaoh. Akhenaten was gone, but his impact on Egypt was indelible. The sands of time may have swept over his once thriving capital of Amarna, but they couldn't erase the profound influences that this heretic pharaoh left behind. This unconventional ruler, often seen as a maverick in the grand tapestry of Egypt's history, dared to challenge the old ways. His vision, though initially met with resistance, managed to seep into the very fabric of Egyptian culture. Even after his death, his radical ideas found their way into the hearts and minds of those who dared to see the world through his eyes. The artifacts that survived from his reign, now scattered in museums around the world, tell a tale of a man who was not afraid to swim against the current. The distinctive Amarna art style, with its emphasis on realism and attention to detail, was a breath of fresh air in a world accustomed to rigid formulaic depictions. This departure from tradition was not just about aesthetics. It was a reflection of Akhenaten's commitment to break free from the shackles of the past and embrace a new way of seeing the divine. And let's not forget the most enduring aspect of Akhenaten's legacy, the concept of monotheism. While it's true that his attempts to replace the traditional pantheon with a single solar deity were met with stiff resistance, the seeds of change had been sown. The idea of a single all-powerful god would later find its way into the major world religions, forever changing the course of human history. Akhenaten's reign, though brief, was a period of intense innovation and transformation. It was a time when the old rules were questioned and new ideas were born. 
His influence continued to be felt, subtly shaping the course of Egypt's history long after he was gone. Though branded a heretic, Akhenaten left an indelible mark on Egypt. His legacy, forbidden yet enduring, still fascinates us today. As we delve deeper into the echoes of his reign, we can't help but marvel at the courage of this man who dared to go against the tide, leaving behind a legacy that continues to endure, inspire and intrigue. And Akhenaten, a name that echoes across millennia, a story that still captivates us. From his audacious rise to power, the heretical vision that stirred rebellion to the enduring legacy etched into the fabric of ancient Egypt. This heretic pharaoh dared to challenge the gods, leaving an indelible mark on history. His tale reminds us that even in the face of opposition, ideas can endure. Join us next time as we unravel more mysteries from the shadows of history. Until then, keep exploring.